here, it's here, it's here. Oh my freaking God, let's talk about it. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this for almost a week. I had to wake up at 5 a.m. and order this the other day. It is now in front of me, in here is the 128 gigabyte version of the cool green iPhone 11. And I'm gonna be talking about, like specifically for creators, testing some camera stuff. But before we do that, let's unbox the crap out of it. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna go set this guy up and then I'm gonna talk to you guys about some of the top camera stuff for you guys creators out there. Give a couple tests. Let's, oh my God, this table's awful. Let's do it. I'm actually in Tennessee right now, so I'm gonna go right around, go check out some of these spots here and test out the camera. Let's do it. Wide angle. So I'm out here in the like literal middle of nowhere in Tennessee. I'm visiting my family right now. So I guess this is kind of the coolest place to test an iPhone. Like there's nothing happening around here. But essentially, Miles hooked up with the skateboard for the trip, so thank you to Miles. But we're testing out the iPhone now, my Gs. Here's a quick little test. Um, dang, this is already looking really good on the screen right here. It's doing a really good job of exposing the sky and this with that HDR. Dang, okay. All right, now let's go ahead. I'm gonna try to switch to ultra wide mid video. Let's give it a shot. Yo. Okay, that is noticeably worse, and I've noticed there's some, you know, stuff happening on the side, some warping. So this is a video test filming on the normal, more high-quality iPhone lens. This is kind of the 26 millimeter, the non-wide angle. How does this look? Does this look good enough? How's the sound? How's the quality? Does this look good enough to vlog on? Let's test the stabilization for a second. Okay, so I'm going to walk around here. I'm holding it kind of as best as I can, as still as I think I can with my left hand right now. Does this look like it's good enough to like vlog on? Is the stabilization pretty good? Does it look still? I don't know what else to say. You guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments below. Welcome to the vlogging test. Let's switch this around. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the wide angle lens if you're trying to do a vlog. I've noticed on some of these shots, it does look a little weird. My arm looks kind of strange. Not gonna lie, that might be kind of weird depending on how you hold the phone. If I maybe hold it out a little farther out, does it look as weird? Is that better? Let me know. I, don't, I can't tell, I'm, I'm shooting this way. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around for a minute so you guys can see how the stabilization is. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to hold it as still as possible. Let me know how it looks. How does it look? I don't know. I don't know what to say right now. So you guys gotta comment and let me know so I don't die. Subscribe, hit the bell. Let's, I guess I'll say that. I don't say that enough. So there's actually apparently an abandoned bridge over here somewhere. Um, I'm on my board right now. We're gonna go right over and check it out. But this is actually the front facing camera on the iPhone 11, the new 12 megapixel. I'm shooting in 4K. God, I don't want to die. There's like crazy cracks behind me. How's the stabilization on this for being on a skateboard? I wonder. It might not be that good. We got some big cracks here, but this is what the image looks like from the front camera. It's not too wide, I'll tell you that much. It's actually pretty tight. This is me extending my arm all the way out. Something good. Okay, let's go check out this abandoned bridge. So I think this would be a great place to shoot a stabilization and video quality test. So I'm actually just gonna walk forward with both lenses as you guys can see the difference between the two. Let's do it. Me walking at a normal pace. As expected, the wide angle lens is a little bit worse stabilization. It's still pretty good for how wide it is, especially me using like action cameras and stuff. It's nowhere near on the level of like my GoPro or my Osmo Action, but it's good for an iPhone. It's good for an iPhone. I also think this would be the perfect place to test out some slow feeds. Yeah, all right. Spoiler alert, this phone has amazing video and photo capabilities, enough to replace my Osmo Action with. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I post them. Yeah, or if you don't, whatever. YOLO swagging. Alright guys, peace out gang. Bye bye.